Barstoolsports.com. Is that right? Barstoolsports.com. It's your boy KFC. Become kind of a craze. Become kind of a craze. Your boy Big Cat. Kind of a craze. Kind of a craze. And your boy Feidelberg. So uh, go to Barstoolsports.com if you, if you do. God bless you. You listen to KFC Radio. Um, let's see. Here's a ridiculous question. And I, I, we get questions like this all the time where I think people really overestimate Barstool. This goes from Kevin H. He's at KJ Hogo. This guy says, we have 15 years, unlimited amounts of money, and we have to build everything by hand. Could Barstool land on the moon? What? <laughs> Wait, what planet is this dude on? Clearly not Earth. He must come from the moon if he thinks that we're going to get to fucking outer space. Like I, thought, I dude, thought the hardest possible question was going to be a log cabin. Let, that maybe we could do. Let me put this into perspective for this kid. <laughs> wait, wait, before you do that. Let me just say, he, he has one more follow-up. Uh, it's 15 years to get to the moon or five years to get to Europe. Continue. Well, five years to get to Europe is doable. <laughs> I feel it's like we could jump a though. A boat is different. If you gave Barstool a rocket ship and a manual to the rocket ship and gave us 15 years, give us unlimited rocket ships, we still wouldn't reach the moon. <laughs> unlimited lives, something by hand. Ships, unlimited time. Yeah, unlimited lives. No. no. So that is the dumbest question I've ever heard. Like ever. That, when you said moon, my head <laughs> almost blew up. Like, I thought it was going to be like, could you live in the woods in a log cabin for 15 years? Dude, right. the fucking moon. Even, but then, even I think Europe is even out of the question. Because like, yeah, I mean, you yeah, can't you build should... a boat. You seem pretty confident that we could sail to Europe in well, five years. Because a boat is just not – a boat, like, you can build a boat. Okay, you who's, can, our, who's can our water displacement expert? Europe, yeah, I feel like you could build – I mean, dude, because here's the thing. Fucking Christopher Columbus and those idiots back in, like, the Stone Age were able to build boats and get to Europe and get to America. They went around the world. That like you yeah. have the basis of that. They used their hands to build that. Oh, yeah, but they were yeah, like, see, that's where dude. I disagree with you. You're calling them Stone Age idiots. I think those guys were a million times the men we are when it comes to building shit with our hands. We sit around, all we do is type on a computer and jerk off our dicks. We can't yeah. build a goddamn thing. Kevin, I mean, Dan, there's a reason we still know their names. They are the smartest men of their time, which is way, way, way smarter than us. Some of right the dumbest now? people of our time. Right now? Yes. See, that's where I, yes. That's where I disagree. I'm smarter than Christopher Columbus right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess in, so, Dan, in Dan's defense, that dude went halfway around the world in the wrong way. Like he wasn't. He wasn't trying to get here. He was trying to go somewhere way, way different. Here's the thing. Here's here's what you guys are missing. He's not saying that we, like, all of a sudden forget everything we know. It's just that we'd have to build it from hand. We fundamentally, like, know how far Europe is. Know, you know, how you know how sails and, like, boats work and shit like that. We're not just going off the fucking face of the earth like these idiots. I mean, I'm smarter than Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I don't doubt that you have <clears throat> more modern intelligence than Christopher Columbus. I'm sure you can, like, you know shit that he never knew and can do math that he never did and shit or something like that. But the thing about boats, dude, boats haven't really changed all that much. The shit that they built back then, like 500 years ago, was is still like what boats are today. They were way ahead of their time. An engineer from the 1400s who could build a boat that sailed around the world when the rest of the world was in, like, living in caves, that dude's smarter than you. I still think with all of our, like, 15 people, five years, I, you, I would fucking build a Titanic. All right. I mean, I guess you're, that's a you're wrong. I knew Big Cat was going to say you could do it. You're I'm wrong. surprised that we made it to the moon. That's a bad example saying I could build a Titanic. Whatever. 
I can build the boat that gets us half, like a quarter of the way there, and then everyone dies. <laughs> Dude, you can like, oh, no, yeah, I could. Rafts. Yeah, rafts. no, we could. We'll take rafts from Cuba to America. Yeah, the distance is a little different, but these guys literally just get on their. <laughs> Bro, you can see oh. Cuba. You can you see get on their Cuba. Cuba board. Dude, Dude how... get on their boogie boards, and they fucking just float in the ocean. Like if Bro, you every you, time you get lucky. What's happened every time that dude tries to row from Paris to America? He doesn't get, like, half a mile. That's rowing. Rowing is, like, impossible. At least he knows where he's going in that case. A, a raft, we just get on, like, all right, water, take us. It's not a fucking moving sidewalk. It doesn't just go straight. It's going to take you wherever the current goes. Right. You just build yeah. a boat. Yeah. And here's, here's where I'll... I'm going to prove you – here's, here's going to be, like, irrefutable proof. We are the single worst company on the Internet. We have so much traffic, and we cash in on, like, one one millionth of what we should make. We can't even do the Internet right, and we're Internet bloggers. <laughs> and now we're going to become nautical engineers and make it to Europe. But <laughs> – but what? <laughs> I don't know, that was a pretty good point. <laughs> I mean, you got it. That was a pretty good point. Can you imagine Portnoy at the helm of us trying to sail the ocean blue? And we'd be I like, think... even if we knew what we were doing, we'd be like, Dave, no, wrong way, wrong way. And he'd say, I know what I'm doing. And that would be it. Yeah, that would Dude, be, you know what? That'd See, be the end of the argument. That was Columbus. Dave, Dave Portnoy is Christopher Columbus. He was like, no, 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 man, we're going to India. And some of those guys are like, I'm pretty sure we're going to Cuba, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. And he was like, no, 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 I'm right. It's Columbus. No, we're it's Portnoy. We're and not then he there and he's like, oh, shit, like, I must be a genius. I found this whole country. <laughs> and then he starts and then he, and then he turns and starts spinning it. Like, I was going to place the whole time. It's hard being this fucking smart and finding a whole new continent. <laughs> if finding continents was this easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> and then it would be like, I fucking told you, big cat. I fucking yeah, told tell. you we'd make it. Stop, stop trying to find a continent that didn't exist last week. You can't. Stop stomping around <laughs> with the land. <laughs> Look at this. You're an Indian now. Did Chris do it again or did Chris do it again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's, it's, all right, it's, one more it is Christopher Columbus. 